Evening, everyone. And first up at 10, fire officials say people living around Salida, well, you should expect to see an orange glow tonight as fire behavior on the Decker fire has actually picked up. Winds caused spotting on the fire, which at last count is just over 1,100 acres, leading firefighters to ramp up their efforts. It's burning right now on Simmons Peak. It's about nine miles south of Salida on federal land. Our Sam Kramer spent the afternoon on the fire line. Sam in studio looks worse, but officials expect this uh, flare, huh? Yeah, they absolutely did. Winds, sun exposure, terrain, and fuels, they all align today, creating optimal conditions for that fire to spread. But with it burning on Simmons Peak, Incident Command is letting the Decker fire burn until they can safely fight it. On a windy early fall Colorado day, the Decker fire looks to be getting worse, but the increased smoke wasn't just planned for, it's helping clear excess fuel in the National Forest. This increased wind was expected, and this is burning a lot of dead and down fuel on the forest floor. Thursday's burning near the top of Simmons Peak looks daunting. However, the winds are blowing the smoke and flames right toward the main body of the fire, and the side of a mountain isn't exactly the best spot for firefighting. We wait and put them in a position where they have the highest probability of success in fuels and terrain where they can be successful in engaging the fire. Instead of actively engaging the fire like this, firefighters are letting the flames burn through beetle kill and other damaged timber as a way of cleaning the forest. And those fuels have built up on the forest floor and for just to return to more of a healthy ecosystem, those um, fuels need to be consumed. And if weather threatens their current plans, more than 120 firefighters and air attack are all on standby just in case. Now, fire, firefighters have so-called trigger points in place. If the flames reach a certain spot, they will then change their tactics. Incident Command also says they expect some rain on that fire tomorrow. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Sam Kramer, News 5.